What's going on everyone? It's Kelly here and today we're going to be taking it back to the Bahamas and we're going to be making lobster rolls. Now a few months back myself, Blue Gabe, who's behind the camera right now, my boyfriend and has a YouTube channel as well, we went to the Bahamas with our friend RG, his wife Elisa, Nick and his wife Jazzy and we had the most incredible time ever. I mean the weather was absolutely perfect, it was glass calm no wind and we speared fish hogfish we speared dog snapper we caught conch which there's not much skill to catch conch the only thing you have to do is really hold your breath because they can't run away from you We also found a floating dock in the middle of nowhere, caught some fish off of it, and Blue Gabe had a casualty to his thumb. Show him your scar. That video is on his channel as well, and my channel I have Catch and Cook Conk, um, and some more, oh, spearfishing my first hogfish in the Bahamas with a pole spear. Anyways, if you guys want to check out the Bahamas series of videos, be sure to check out my channel and Blue Gabe's channel for those videos. But right now we're gonna get back to these lobster. So a cool thing about lobstering in the Bahamas is that in the Bahamas, you can spear lobster. In Florida, you cannot. So myself and Blue Gabe, we got to spear a bunch of lobsters in the Bahamas. Y'all check this out. <laughs> oh, there's another one! Da -da -da. It was so exciting. 
exciting to finally be able to just spear lobster. Because like I said, here in Florida, we have to use nets in our hands. So these two tails that I have out right now just kind of worked out this way. I have a female and a male lobster, and I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to determine that. So if you flip the tail over, they have these little claspers here. Well, the females have this extra little fin here. You see how there's this like nice, pretty yellow and black fin and then this like hairy other fin next to it? That's a female because when she does have eggs, she'll hold all of her eggs in those claspers. If that's the right word, I don't know. The male only has the flaps because he don't hold eggs. So first step for making lobster rolls is we gotta bust these guys in half. Now this can get a little tricky. You wanna make sure you have a good, powerful, hardy knife. You can't use a flimsy, dull knife because it won't work. These shells are hard. I'll place my knife in the center. I put my hand like this on the knife. Do not put your fingers down like this because that's spooky. Get it planted and I'll put kind of my fingers like this and just really put soft pressure and then I'll make it harder. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a lot. There we go. All right, so after you bust it open, just butterfly it. What I like to do is pull the meat away from the shell. That way, when you get done cooking the lobster, it don't stick to the shell. You got lucky though, that one just popped right out. Yeah, that one did. That was really lucky. It was getting ready to molt. You was still super hard though. And I'll just lay the meat back in the shell like that. Same thing to the other one. And you'll get lucky. Sometimes you'll get the lobster that's about to molt and he'll be super, super soft and it's just like, Kind of wedge it. Oh, there we go. Once you get that initial crack, then you can crack them open. You know, I've seen other people like flip the lobster over and cut it like that, but I've never done it that way. That's just, this is just the way I've always done it. This is a big tail. Same thing, pull that meat out. That one came out Man, nice. You got lucky twice. I wonder if it's because they were on ice. Don't be afraid to put some butter on your lobsters. We got butter and we're just gonna do some salt and pepper. I'm just keeping it simple because I am going to put it in a lobster roll. Some sea salt. Now I'm gonna put the lobster tails in the oven. Depending on the power of your oven, I usually put it to 375 or about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, just make sure you check on your lobster because you really don't want to overcook it. There she goes. And yes, I have my lobsters on a pizza pan. So while the lobster's in the oven, I want to show you guys one of my favorite snacks I haven't had in so long. When I was at Publix getting these ingredients, I saw this cheese. It's called port wine cheese. It is so good. Put some of this port wine cheese on a Ritz cracker. Oh my gosh. It's probably really high in calories, but it is so, so good. Have you ever had port wine cheese? It can't be any higher in calories than those Godivas you've been eating over there for two days. I had like two bites. Uh huh. Try this. Oh, me? Hmm. You'll be addicted to it. My mom used to have that back in the day. Yeah, you just didn't know what it was called? It tastes just like this, the... Don't say it, don't say it, you don't know the say it. Don't you know the cheese it. that no. comes and you squirt it right here? No. That's all that is, y'all. No. This is just a little bit fancier that's, of a bottle. No, that's better cheese, don't say it. Don't say easy cheese, whatever That's what called. easy cheese is. You might have just ruined this for me. Oh, Wisconsin. Dear, dear mom, dear me for dinner. Sarah, she probably knows about this cheese. 15 minutes later, cooked to perfection. This is why you peel the meat off the shell before you cook it because all I did was right on the cutting board. 
While I'm cutting up this lobster, I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful crystal clear wreck that we all snorkeled. I tried to spearfish some fish off of it, but those dog snappers were insanely smart. I mean, I shot at probably like 15 dog snappers and yeah, I didn't get any. I think Gabe got a few though. Gabe definitely got a few. If I can't get a fish, Gabe will definitely get the fish for me. That's a fact. I went full ninja effect on them. Yeah, I tried so hard to get a dog snapper and I, I think because the water was pretty shallow, it was probably about 12 feet. It was super shallow and crystal clear. And when water's crystal clear, fish are smart. When the water's murky, you have a better chance on sneaking up on fish, but crystal clear water, mm, them fish are way too smart. I don't know if there's a name to the wreck or not. Blue Gabe did get some drone footage, but if you if there is a name to the wreck and y'all know the name to this wreck in the Bahamas, in the comments below, let me know. What about that beautiful water I put on TV for you? It's called tranquility. Do you know what that word means? Yeah. What does it mean? It means like in between when the squirrels are going nuts in your tree stand and all of a sudden they go quiet for a minute, that's tranquility. No, that's like a adrenaline rush because you never know what's going to come around the corner. Dang, this is a lot more lobster than I thought. That's only a quarter of the lobster I just chopped up. We can make a lobster omelet for breakfast in the morning. Yeah, I'm about to eat this lobster. I'm going to do this half. Lobster omelet. Why don't you just tell us how it tastes right now, just like that. I love lobster so much. It's the best. Mm. It doesn't even... Well, I did put a bunch of butter on it, but it doesn't even need butter. I love Florida lobster with, like, passion. That I'll eat the whole lobster, and there'll be, like, a big thing of butter there, and I'm like... Dang, I didn't even see the butter there. But it's so good. Hey, Ross. She's eating your lobster, by the way. Oh, I am. Shout out, Ross. We got the chopped lobster. We're adding some good old Hellman's mayonnaise. A lot of you mayonnaise people are obsessed with Dukes. We're Hellman's people over here. I've never gotten so many comments on mayo before. But like, people know. take mayo seriously. Same, same. All right. Mixing that up a little bit. Now, I don't want it to be too mayo-y because that's just how I am. We have some chopped celery. I almost forgot what it was called for a minute. Mm, that much. Cooking is all about eyeballing what you want. We got chives. Sprinkle little chives. I love chives. They're like green onions. So good. Mix it on up. I'm so excited for this. We're gonna add a little bit more mayo. 
Smells good. With some green onion. Now that I have that put together, I have some white bread that I found at Publix and I just very lightly toasted it. Like it's a, it's a little crunchy, but it's still kind of soft on the inside. I have some butterhead lettuce, which is like really, really good lettuce. It's actually buttery lettuce. So it's butterhead lettuce, but it's very strange because it has like a buttery texture to it. It's crazy. But is it buttery? It's buttery. How many times can we say buttery real quick? <laughs> buttery, 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 buttery. We're going to lay that on the bread. And then we gonna do this. Hopefully this goes smoothly. On the butterhead lettuce. Just like that. Mm. Cooking is always messy, guys. You can make this recipe with smaller pieces of bread for like hors d'oeuvres. You and your own hors d'oeuvres. Well, hors when you have parties, when you're a party <laughs> person like me. Oh yeah. All right, but this isn't all, this isn't all. I have some more to go on top. We have some sliced cherry tomatoes. Now this might be just for show, just because they're pretty. And I feel like tomatoes would just go with this dish. I love cherry tomatoes. Just like that. And last but not least, actually we got two more things left. Avocado. I kind of want to get one of them like cool avocado slicer spoon things that you just like, I don't know, slice an avocado on. All right, let me put that over here. You know what I'm talking about where you just take like the spoon and you go and it like slices the avocado for you. All right, we have av avocado on lobster. Who would have thought? Boom. And a wee bit of lemon. Just like that. This is gonna be messy. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be good. When we bite in, actually, you know what? I might do this. So we're not biting into the crust first. Like, how excited. Rock, paper, scissors, who goes first? Ladies first. All right. Lobster, salad on white bread, butter, lettuce, avocado, and cherry tomatoes. That's actually really refreshing. Really good. The only thing I could say is a little bit of salt. But that, that's really good. Mm. That's delicious. All right, we're good. Give it a go. Let's see your messiest bite. Mm. Now, if you're wondering who Ross is, my most recent video, we went out and we actually caught these lobster and I was gonna give them to my cousin Ross but he gave them back to me because I cooked him a massive shrimp dinner. Gave him back. Mmm, 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 mmm. Lobster and mayo, who would have known? Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. That's good, and celery, honestly, like. So many people get caught up just grilling lobsters. There's a million things you can do with them and that's a really good one. But before I end this video, I want to take it back to La Kaya when we got back to the dock. It was super late at night, so it is a little bit dark. But after we got done flying a bunch of lobster and a bunch of fish, when we threw the carcasses in the water, guess who showed up? The sharks. So Blue Gabe and myself were having fun with the sharks. So we have a few fish carcasses left over. And we're going to go ahead and feed the sharks. We got a big old lemon around here, a big old nurse shark, and a big old bull oh. shark. That was a lemon shark. Yeah, where'd he come from? There's the, wait, is that two lemon sharks? Yeah. Two lemons. 
He just come out from under the dock. Oh yeah. There's another one down there. It's three of them. Look at that one. These are some world class lemon sharks. Ooh, look at that guy right there. Look at him. Oh yep. Oh they're getting they're getting fired up now. Look at him. He's chasing that fish. He is. He's gonna get him. His nose and tail are out of the water. Oh so beautiful. Oh they're fired up now. Oh boy. They don't like that light. If y'all know me, sharks are my specialty. Look, hello. Babe, please. Babe. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, I need one of these. Okay, please be careful. Babe, this ain't my first rodeo. That just a fish. Yeah, Look at him mad. turn back on himself. Yeah. Here, babe, you're up. Thanks. I like how you got them all fired up and pissed off for me. <laughs> oh, now I'm smooth. All right, where, where are they at? Oh, oh my God. I can't, I'm scared. <laughs> Do they turn around on their tail? Yes. Lemon sharks are pretty much the most flexible shark there are. I mean, if you're pulling one up on the beach, like if you're pull you think you're safe pulling a lemon shark by its tail, you're wrong. That joker will spin around and bite you. Bull sharks, tiger sharks, big hammers, they can't, they're only going to move so much. Lemon sharks, they'll figure eight and bite you. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come here, little shark. God, <laughs> ow! <laughs> here he is, babe. Right here, coming right at you. Hello, little lemon. Big lemon. He's got wrinkles on his forehead. Yeah. You need. Look at the nurse shark. He's huge. You need some Botox. Oh yeah. Look right here. He's joker, babe. Be careful. Oh gosh. Here he comes. Here he comes. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Yeah. They turn around so fast. Hello, buddy. You want to touch one, RG? Yeah. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> Honestly, this is all I need right here. Like, I could look, just. Look, he missed it. He didn't miss it right then, though. <laughs> all right, you got a piece of skin left, babe. Oh. It's little. You can hand feed him the skin. Oh, okay, thanks. Here you go. Gosh, they're falling right now. Here he comes. Here's old Grumpy. He's down deep. He's going to come around. Look at him. Uh-oh. Yeah. He's checking out that seaweed on the surface. I love this nurse shark. The nurse shark is so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, what's that one? That I think that was a new one. They're all lemons. They're like, dude, she's got a piece of skin. She thinks she's going to get us with that. Come on, nurse shark. I need a nurse shark at least. Right here. Big ones. Look at the sharks. Oh, it's constant heavy. Naked mirror shark. Here he comes. So Here he comes. Dun, dun, this is this is gonna dun, scare him. Dun, dun. Oh! oh! He bit it and was like, oh, he's chasing it down. Doom! Oh, he's like, what the heck is that? He's like, that is not edible. There we go. Come on. Look at Nurse. I love the Nurse Shark. Oh no, he's gonna collide. <laughs> Boom. I've gotten so many pictures of when two sharks come to eat the same piece of bait and then one shark's nose will go in the other one's mouth. Hmm. They like that. I could have spent all night at that dock with them sharks. But right now this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and Blue Gabe's channel as well. Leave a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.